Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. Today we are here with Corbin. And we are heading over to the Canadian Toy Con in St. Catharines. So let's get on with the show. Hey guys, so we made it to the hotel where the Toy Con is taking place. Let's head in and finally check out some things. So guys, we are over here at our first booth and we're just checking out some pops. So they've got a lot of different ones. They've got three, three for 25, three for 30. I don't know what the deal is, but a lot of great stuff. We've got some Crash Bandicoot, Flocked, GameStop exclusive, pretty nice looking. Over here, I've been eyeing up this 11 from Stranger Things, a pretty sweet pop, really nice looking there. And coming on down. A lot of older stuff that I don't usually see, like this glow-in-the-dark vulture, that's a pretty sweet one. We've got Bruce Wayne from Justice League. Honestly, a lot of great pops. So guys, we were just checking out a Funko Pop booth over here, but it is from the famous YouTubers, a Funko Pop cast. How's it going today, guys? Not too bad. We're doing pretty good so far today. Uh, hopefully, more people show up to, this, to the show so we can sell some more stuff and uh, buy some more great pops. Awesome. It was great to meet you guys. Yeah. Thank awesome. You. Thank you so much. Hey guys, so we just came out of the con. We got a bunch of pretty sweet stuff. Overall, what did you think, Corbin? I thought it was pretty cool. First ever toy convention. And we got out of there with money in our pockets still, but we got some good pops too. So good job. So guys, we are back from toy con. And I found some pretty sweet stuff. So first off, I picked up this pop from Stranger Things, and this is Eleven, which is actually a box lunch exclusive. Quite recently, I have been re-watching Stranger Things, and I figured, why not? Let's search for some Stranger Things Funko Pops today. And I'm actually really stoked that I got this Funko Pop, because I figured I probably wouldn't find many Stranger Things Funko Pops at the convention. I really do enjoy this Funko Pop. I love how Eleven is kind of like in her, like, emo gang outfit. I don't really know exactly what to call it, but she's also holding the Eggos box in her hand, and I just think that's a really nice detail. And of course, I almost forgot to show the back of the box. So there is the rest of the set that came out in 2017 as well. So after 11, I actually picked up a couple of Funko Pops that actually go together. Here we have gotten John Nada and Alien from They Live. And I've actually wanted to pick up these pops for a very long time, as of last year when they came out, but I just never really saw them anywhere, and it was an instant cop when I saw them today. The John Nada pop actually looks really cool. I'm really glad he's wearing the glasses because they are such a big part of the film, but I can't say too much because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I really do like how he has the blaster in his hands along with all the other stuff slinged over his shoulder. Some really cool details. And as for the alien, this just looks super weird. I absolutely love the colors of this Fungal Bob. They're super bright and vibrant. And honestly, I don't think I have ever seen a Fungal Pop that looks like this before. It's super, super cool. And if I had done top 10 Funko Pops of 2021, this probably would have made the list. The really nice thing about these two Pops is that they actually came in really good protectors, so I'm glad I didn't really have to use any of my own. And I guess if you guys want to see the back of the box, here it is right here. Not a whole lot going on. And the only pop I am missing from this set is the black and white Chase Alien, which looks really, really cool. So after that, I will have a full set of They Live Fungal Pops, and I'm just super glad I was able to get these for my horror collection. And last but not least, I got a pretty weird Funko Pop, but I've been kind of eyeing these pops up for a little while, and I'd never really bit the bullet, but finally I decided to get one. And if you were wondering what pop that is, it is the Orange Sour Patch Kid 
from the Sour Patch Kids Funko Pop set. And I know I said this before, but I just thought these Funko Pops looked really weird and cool, so I figured, why not? Let's collect the set. This Funko Pop has got a weird texture, but it makes a lot of sense because the Sour Patch Kids candies are actually covered in candy. But other than that, it is a pretty weird looking Funko Pop, but I just think it's super cool and super unique. So these are the four Funko Pops that I picked up, and I'm really happy with my mini haul. And I just wanted to give a big shout out to my friend Corbin Peter for joining me on this hunt today. I had so much fun and I'm really glad you were able to join me. And also, I can't forget to mention a Funko Pop cast. It was so cool to meet you guys in person and I really hope we are able to meet up again at some other toy cons or even comic cons. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, please don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.